Now let's have a look at some of the status. Uh, the slide up now shows the status of our PKI service. This is taken from CECOM's Looking Glass in Johannesburg. You can see from the slide that it shows the number of prefixes, the number of connection attempts, failures, and the general status of the connection that this router has with the validator. Second example on the slide, also checking the server, shows an RNE network in Bhutan. This is on a Junos router. Again, it shows the validation status with the router talking with the validator cache. Let's have a look at the RPKI table at the time of recording. The V4 RPKI table has 84,000 network entries and 91,000 record entries. And we're using a total of about 9 megabytes of memory. If you look at the actual table itself, you see all the signed prefixes, the subnet size, and the max length. In other words, the smallest subnet that you would expect to see. And this is the smallest subnet that the ROA covers. It also lists the origin AS, and the neighbor referred to in the slide is the validator cache that this entry was received from. Let's look at the IPv6 one. IPv6 one, we see about 14,000 network entries and almost 16,000 record entries using about 2 megabytes of memory. And again, you see the v6 prefix entry, the subnet sizes, the origin AS, and again, the validator cache these were seen on. Check the prefixes. You see some that look quite interesting, including one prefix on the slide there, which is a slash 32 with max len 128. From earlier, you will be aware that this means any subnet of that slash 32 all the way down to 128 will be considered valid if originated by AS7521. And then we look at the BGP table. This is a Cisco IOS output, again, courtesy of CECOM. And you see on the left-hand column the Ns, the Vs, and the Is, representing the not founds, the valids, and the invalids. Notice the invalids shown on the screen. The invalids there have no right arrow beside them, or greater than sign beside them. This is because Cisco IOS automatically drops invalids without operator intervention or without operator policy. So the prefixes are marked there. They are invalid because the originating autonomous system is incorrect. Do the same for v6. And again, we see examples of not found, examples of valid, and examples of invalid. Let's look at some of the examples in detail. If we look at the show RPKI state valid, here I've got a BGP routing table entry for a v6 slash 32. And if you look in the iOS output, you see RPKI state valid highlighted in red. If we look at the next one, we see a BGP routing table entry for this slash 48. The router indicates that there's no best path. As I mentioned before, Cisco iOS automatically drops invalids. And you see that it comments there in the output, RPKI state invalid. And the final example of not found, there there's no ROA existing for this slash 32. And the router indicates this by saying RPKI state not found. 